Well, it's a wait and see, to be honest, especially depending on where you live and which state and city. But uh, they're going to rely heavily on people who live in the area to support local businesses, especially restaurants, bars, that type of thing, uh, movie theaters, if and when they reopen and assorted other uh, businesses around the, your local town. It's uh, it's an unprecedented time. And, uh, you know, I'm just hoping everyone does the right thing and, and stays local and helps out the local economy. So what are some options for people not traveling this year? Where are they going, especially if they don't want to get caught in uh, crowds, if, if everyone has that same idea? A lot of people are playing golf, to be honest. Uh, if you're a golfer like I am, uh, it's very difficult to get a tee time now because it's a place where you can be outside, you can get exercise, you can see friends at a distance, and you can get some exercise and compete. Uh, also, national parks have been a huge um, boom this year. People are going not just national parks, state parks, local parks, everything where people can be outside, get away, uh, do a road trip kind of thing, avoid airports, and again, distance, but still be active and do things. And people have been taking this time to kind of do things outside, around the country, in their area that they wouldn't normally do when they would normally be traveling abroad. So we're in winter time. Uh skiing perhaps so what are some other mm -hmm. activities that could benefit from people staying close to home yeah i think again just anything outdoor where you live like for instance i'm in los angeles right now so uh things are open outdoor dining is open whereas indoor is not and it's been closed for a long period of time so i'm making a conscious effort to eat out and support my local eateries and uh you know whether it's takeout or actually eating in and uh, especially the waiters who had been out of work for so long and even bars that are doing to-go drinks at the time are having people sit outside uh, and it's nice to be outside, and, and honestly, it, it, it's incumbent upon all of us to help support our local communities. Despite the pandemic, I, nobody, nobody in the world is traveling for fun right now. But um, have you noticed any trends that have emerged, and, and especially in China, where the numbers are almost non-existent? Do you see any uh, increase in domestic travel? Let's take take away from you know Spring Festival here, but. Um, other than Spring Festival, are you seeing more domestic travel across the country? Well, here in America, yeah, 100%. Uh, local, tra or, excuse me, domestic travel has had a big boom, at least compared to where it was six months ago, because international travel can be a big hassle with testing and different requirements, uh, and, and they're changing constantly. If you stay in America, with the exception of a couple places like New York, uh, you can pretty much go anywhere. And depending on the state, there's no testing requirements or no quarantine. So people have been traveling domestically, which is probably why we've had uh, you know, upticks in numbers over the course of the last six months. But at the same time, if people are doing it, we have to be conscious of it and, uh, you know, take necessary precautions. But there's definitely been an uptick in domestic travel in the past few months.